Welcome back everybody. Today, we're gonna be showing you the quickest, easiest homestead pot roast recipe. This pot roast recipe gets put together super fast, cooks all day in the crock pot, and when it's ready, it's good. So if you guys are interested in a drop and go, set it and forget it, just a quick put together thing that's gonna be ready for you when you get home and be tasty as ever, this is the video for you. We've got so many good recipes that we can't help to throw one out here and there. So you guys might wanna pick yourself up a recipe book because there's more to come. If you guys are new to our channel, we have a homestead channel, a variety of good tips and tricks. We're always teaching you guys something. So if that's your thing, if that's something you're interested in, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And for all of you out there, start this video out with a like. Let's get going. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is get the crock pot ready. We're gonna oil it just like this. If you guys have watched our other videos, you'll know that we like using avocado oil. Just like so and you're done. Okay, so we're gonna be using a three and a half pound roast. We're gonna be feeding two adults and four kids. So we'll use about five carrots. Okay, so we peel our carrots and we take these scraps out to the chickens. All of our little food scraps usually goes to the chickens. They love it. You don't have to peel these. You can just clean them. Carrots are cut into about one inch long slices. Next step is to quarter your onion. Be sure to peel apart all the layers. Once you got those steps done, next step is to throw the roast in the crock pot. And for this roast recipe, you only need two seasonings. Two teaspoons of Johnny's seasoning salt, and fresh ground pepper. And if you guys were wondering, that was 30 turns with fresh pepper. And as simple as that, it is ready. Time to turn on your crock pot and let the magic happen. On our crock pot, we just hit slow cook. It automatically sets it for 12 hours. We're gonna shoot for taking it out at about 10 hours. Oh boy, it's almost done. 
smelling and looking great. She told me I couldn't open it. I was gonna open it and give you guys a little sneak peek, you know, with some clarity, but she said, don't open it. You better not open it. So I'm not gonna open it. Now, sometimes we put potatoes in there, but this time we didn't because we're doing a side dish that's even better. We're making our cauliflower mashed potatoes, garlic cauliflower mashed potatoes. You don't have to go heavy on the garlic. You don't even have to add the garlic if you're not a garlic person, but we happen to love garlic and we're gonna make garlic cauliflower mashed potatoes. And they are incredible and healthier for you than eating just regular mashed potatoes. So I will add a link for those right up here. And also at the end of the video, there'll be a card for that as well. And I'll put a link in the description below. You definitely want that recipe as well. All right, everyone. This crock pot roast is done. It's been in there for 11 and a half hours. We've had a busy day, went a little bit long, but it's gonna be just fine. We would have normally taken it out at about 10. Let's see how good this looks. Oh, you're not gonna need gravy on those potatoes because that juice right there is gonna be dynamite. So now that right there, I drizzle a little bit of that juice over my mashed potatoes, a little bit over the meat. The way I like doing it, I'll take a chunk of meat and I'll dip it down into my mashed potatoes and juices and take that bite combined. Mmm. Nothing like a slow cooked crock pot roast with garlic cauliflower mashed potatoes. This right here is a feast fit for a king. Again, we'll put the recipe for the cauliflower mashed potatoes at the end. If you guys like homestead tips and occasional great homestead recipes like this, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you'd like to see some more. We'll see you guys on the next one.